and you were playing in British Columbia about the same time Steve Nash was, right? Right. I remember we we um, we played against them in high school. So Steve Nash transferred high schools for his senior year, and so he had to sit out. Um, I don't know the exact details, but we played them um, in an exhibition game, and so it was kind of this scrubby group of dudes. And we, I didn't know who he was at the time. And so we rolled out and uh, it's probably one of my, actually, you know, if I look back now on life, it's like one of those moments where everything came together is I actually got a dunk off the opening tip. Mm. Um, and then proceeded to probably not score for the rest of the game because Steve Nash and they had another guy on their team whose name escapes me, but he played at University of Colorado as well they had a good squad and they just dismantled us and it was so it was kind of after that that was that was really it was all downhill from there but but yeah there was um steve nash was um a year younger than me but so i did play against him could you tell he was good just in that exhibition oh yeah okay yeah. i mean we he our point guard didn't get the ball over half court you know wow. like literally he his handles and you know i mean i one of the things i remember clearly about him when he was younger because we he got recruited really heavily by the university that i played at and so he came and scrimmaged with us a lot and 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 trained with us and stuff and his in you know intensity and his competitiveness were something that you know at that point no one foresaw right obviously what was happening because you know, there was talk of him maybe trying to go to the U.S. to play at a Division One school, but even that, you know, a lot of people were just like, at that point, Canadians, now it's, you know, there's a lot of Canadians playing Division One, and it's very common, and um, at that point, it was still, there was more tragic stories than success stories of Canadians going south, you know, a lot of guys who would go play for a year and then kind of get spat out the other side and come home, and so people were always really weary of of whether guys could do that and that was you know seemed to be the case with him but he was so competitive that i just don't you know i mean i remember that very clearly he was just like a, like a rabid dog you know just after it 